Hey guys, it's Walker again. Uh, we're here at the I, uh, CSIA Executive Conference. I'm here with AJ Alexander from ITG Technologies. They're a disruptive integrator based in Jacksonville, Florida. They are the forward-facing partner for Sorba Machine Learning, which is what I, uh, I've mentioned many times in terms of what we believe is the best-in-class, uh, cutting-edge uh, IIoT machine learning solution. Uh, I've asked AJ if he could quickly give us his 30-second elevator pitch. I'm going to ask him a couple of questions about the technology, and then, uh, and then we'll move on. Well, appreciate it, Walker. So uh, real quick, uh, with us and ITG, our background obviously being automation control, machine safety, yada, yada, yada. Really, we saw this platform as a way for us to really bridge that gap from the world of academia and then real world industrial applications and problems. So with this solution, it really allows controls engineers, maintenance managers, guys that have that process background to build solutions very quickly and rapidly. So leveraging the Sorbet technology, everything under the hood as the mechanism to deploy it to the edge in real time, I mean, it is, is very unique in the industry. We have the MES background and understand really what it takes to put a solution together and having this platform and creating a whole business group around this platform is really going to allow us to uh, accelerate that, that path to value with our customers it's in this very, very crowded space of IoT and machine learning. So we're excited and uh, thank, you for, uh, thank you for your time. So my understanding after reviewing the, the software several times with our team and our director of business intelligence, Andrew Geiger, has reviewed and given Sorba the, the stamp of approval. So it, it's true that a lot of the underlying technology that Sorba's leveraging is open source, correctly? Correct, but the IP is the way that they assemble all that open source technology together. What really stands out to me with Sorba is that it is the first machine learning environment that it's a machine learning development environment that allows you to do truly closed loop machine learning. That is, the technology up in the cloud layer is learning the machines and then it's able to take what it's learned in the cloud and deploy it to the edge, right? We, other than that, what else really sets Sorba apart from the other, from the many, many solutions that are marketing themselves as the IIoT machine learning solution. That's a good point. So when we first got started, it was in predictive maintenance and reliability. What we see with our platform, and again, referencing the mechanism component, is that those open source technologies, that is the IP. So from the hot data to the cold data, and then how you distribute that data on a horizontal fashion. So in regards to machine learning, having 30 plus different algorithms that we pulled from Google's TensorFlow, again, that entire data pipeline has been automated. So not only can engineers solve uh, equipment and component failures down to the very small microscopic level, we can now apply that same technology for process optimization. So wanting to decrease my speed to maximize yield or maximize my energy consumption. All of that is available through the platform. So when we talk about what's under the hood, it's really understanding that the engineer doesn't need to do script. It's very much point and click and it allows him to understand his problem and his process much better. So thinking this, of this technology more of like an evidence-based decision-making tool. Again, the SME is always going to be involved in part of the discussion and that will never uh, be eliminated, but we really rely on, on that SME to bring context to our results Thanks. and the management platform. So we talked about building all these algorithms and, and being able to you know, update, uh, update the tags and, and, and update, the, uh, update the sensors. Having a, we're very similar to what you see in OSI Pi, very similar to the asset framework, we have that with on the machine learning component. So creating a, an asset class and then managing that down, down to the algorithms is where we see the biggest gap in the industry is being able to manage all that as well. So can you give me an example? So ITG, you, you guys are an integrator, right? And, but you're, the reason, you're a disruptive integrator in that you're, you're not a distributor, you're a partner of Sorba, right? I mean, that's the, the entire, you're the expert, the subject matter expert who knows how to deploy these solutions. So since you guys are doing the deployments and you're supporting other integrators in these deployments, can you give us one example or two examples of how this has been used um, and, uh, and, and where you see the customer gaining the most value? Sure. Yeah, that's a good point. And I, you know, in full disclosure and, and full transparency, we definitely want to get out of the services business. There's an OE company out there called uh, Parsec, yep. and they have an OE a platform called Trax. It's a very similar background, and they are now a software company. So the the end game is to eventually support the software and then support our channel partners and build out that network. So uh, use case real quick, how we got started was in the transportation industry. They had about a team of 18 data scientists trying to build one prediction model or 
be able to, de to detect the degradation to a rail switch. Now a rail switch is a very simple mechanical device with a couple inputs, simple electrical actuator, but they had no real ability, a team of 18 data scientists to build one model. We came with the platform within a matter of three weeks. We built a very accurate model and we presented it to the team. And the feedback we got from the data scientists, well, this is great, very similar to our model, but what's the difference? Our difference was, number one, the speed to which we de deployed and developed the model to the edge. And number two, our model was able to give a lead time to failure. A lot of the machine learning done today is very much classification where we focus and our IP is in the anomaly detection. So blind test, knowing nothing about your data, we have a very unique, cap or Sorb has a very unique capability to do those anomaly detections. So that, that was a very uh, eye-opener for us because you think about all the resources, the time, the money spent, and again, not knocking data scientists, but they need the tool to deploy those solutions a lot quicker and confidently as well. And, and, that, and I want to drive home that point. So when people ask me what, what sets Sorba apart, what sets Sorba apart is two things. Number one, the, the platform itself, the machine learning algorithms in the cloud, they learn the equipment. They, they, whereas in traditional machine learning applications, you have to have a data scientist create the code that is the mapping to the, the digital twin, right? So that's number one. Sorba learns the equipment on its, it, it creates relationships from just data, right? And its ability to deploy what it's learned to the edge is also what sets Sorba apart. So uh, it, if anyone wants to get a hold of you guys to get a demo or to see your use case, uh, what's the best way? Uh, is that Sorba.com? Is that through ITG? The answer to Walker's question, and hopefully in the near future, is to actually point them to what you guys are doing at Intellic and then 4.0 Solutions. But as of right now, uh, within the short meantime, the best way to get a hold of us is sorbasoft.com. And um, ITG, again, follow Walker, follow Zach. You guys got a good following, so we're excited. And um, there was one thing I wanted to point out. When we first talked, we talked about the Edge platform. That's a, that's a key component to all this. So again, going back to our domain knowledge, all those industrial drivers have been written. So again, that speed to which you can get things connected. Tossy box, they, there's a lot of great solutions out there, but to have that edge of capability and eventually one day pushing all the training, all the learning on the edge is where the future's heading. And uh, you can reference Intel, Amazon, they're all coming for the edge. So if we can stay ahead in the, in, in the, in the near future, we're excited. AJ, thanks for your time, man. Thank you. Hey guys, check out Sorba, check out Sorbasoft, sorbasoft.com. This is a cutting edge, best in class solution. Thanks.